mediocrity just wasn't acceptable. With some talking about retirement, the great one just became more focused. The great start to the second half. Tonight, he was in position to move into the NHL scoring lead for the first time this season. Kings and Winnipeg, the two teams tied for second place in the Smythe Division, going to the night's action. The return of Thomas Sandstrom in an L.A. Kings uniform. He's been out with almost almost three months with a shoulder injury, and he's welcome back with a shot in the head. Nice elbow from Paul McDermott. A little cut on the chin, but he is okay. Meanwhile, the great one, as I say, back on top of the NHL scoring list. Gretzky sets up Peter Ahola. Gets the assist as he beats Bob Essenza, and it's 1-0 for the Kings. Second period, Wayne Gretzky feeds Dave Taylor, streaking into the line. Taylor, nice pass to John McIntyre, who basically just puts his stick in the way, puts it in his fourth goal of the year. Gretzky with two points, 2-1 two to one Kings. Well, late in the second period, Gretzky behind the net. Have you seen this before? Right in the slot to Kadelski. Kadelski slides it by Essenza for his 19th of the season. 3-1 Kings, 4-2 after two. That's how it finished. Gretzky with three points on the night. He is back on top of the NHL scoring leaders. Goals for L.A. Ahola, McIntyre, Kadelski, and Taylor for Winnipeg. Steen and Sykes. The Kings move into sole possession of second place in the spike. Two points ahead of the Jets. Afternoon action in Vancouver. Hosting Boston. First period. Bruins on the power play. Brent Ashton to Adam Oates. Oates to... Vladimir Zichka, 36 of the season, 1-0 Boston. Second period, Pavel Bure in front, alone, the backhand, stop. Great glove hand by Andy Moe. Bruins still up 1-0. Third period, Tom Fergus will interfere with Gordon Murphy. Side of your screen, you don't quite see it, but what it does is sets up Dave Babbage to walk in all alone. One score tied at one, and Rick Bonus is just furious, asking for the interference call. Terry Gregson says no, the goal stands, game tied at one. It was tied at one through regulation, so in overtime, Pavel Bure in over the line, lets the shot go, goes off the shaft of Bork's stick into the net, and the Canucks defeat Boston 2-1 to one in a slightly controversial finish to this game. Actually, the tying goal was slightly controversial. Goal scorers, Rosicka for Boston is 36 for Vancouver, Babbage is fifth, and Bure is 18th of the season. Kerber playing 31 stops in this game. 